I've looked at my analytics on this channel and apparently you all really like Cash App and Chime in terms of banks. So it's time for us to have a nice old fashioned competition or Kung Fu fight between the two to see which one is the superior bank when it comes to checking accounts. So let's get into it. Sup everyone, this is Elijah from Financial Anatomy, the place where you will learn how to take control of your financial destiny. On this channel, we talk about apps involving money and investing. As mentioned before, we're gonna be comparing Cash App and Chime to see who comes out on top in terms of winning your approval, since y'all really seem to like these two banks. We're gonna be comparing them in four main categories in terms of checking account. Those categories are the ability to deposit money, account control, spending restrictions, and spending features. So without holding it back anymore, let's go ahead and get into it with depositing. So when it comes to depositing money, both Chime and Cash App are a little bit at a disadvantage because a bank like Chase or Truist or Wells Fargo has a physical location that you can go in to deposit money at no cost to you. But with Chime and Cash App being both online banks, this option isn't present. The good news is they have made deals with various businesses like uh, CVS to be able to deposit money inside your accounts but it comes with a hefty fee. Oftentimes it costs around $5 just to deposit money into your online banking account using this factor. <laughs> you serious? But when it comes to comparing the two, Cash App just released this feature a lot later than Chime and it's still clunky to say the least. You may actually go to a place and you will not be able to deposit money. They say, hey, we don't do that. Even though the Cash App map says that you can. Versus Chime, I've never had a situation where I couldn't deposit money in a place where they said that you can deposit money. It just costs $5. But the fact that you can deposit money all the time on Chime and you can't on Cash App is kind of iffy. You might want to call ahead of time. Gives Chime an edge when it comes to depositing money. Next, we'll look at the ability to deposit checks. And to be honest, neither one of them do a fantastic job at this. They both offer the feature to deposit a check, but it's pretty standard, it's nothing special. Just take a picture of the check, and then it'll be deposited in your account within the following business days. There's not really a real difference in terms of how long it takes, they're about the same. So they both get a point in terms of being able to deposit checks into the account. So we're doing the math, cash up as one point, Chime has two points, so Chime gets the category winner when it comes to depositing money. Next, we'll move into account control. So right off the bat, both Chime and Cash App don't have any uh, checking account maintenance fees, meaning you don't have to have a certain amount of money in there to avoid getting hit with a five, 10, $15 fee. And they don't have overdraft fees either. I will say that Chime does give you the ability to overdraft if you decide to turn it on. But generally speaking, both companies don't have any fees, so neither one of them receive a point since they're kind of at a stalemate. But let's go into where Cash App has an advantage here. So Cash App gives you the ability to do what I call money laundering. So uh, Cash App, you can link a debit card to it and then get money from that debit card via the uh, add cash feature and then replace that debit card with another card from another bank and then cash out that money on that debit card and move that money to the bank. Now keep in mind that there is a, a fee for doing this, but if you need to move money from one bank account to another bank account without any large amount of time, really like you can do this within a matter of minutes, you can actually do this with Cash App, which is actually a big plus. I really uh, enjoy that ability to do so. So we're gonna have to give Cash App a point in that regard because Chime doesn't have anything like that. Unfortunately, that's where the pros end for Cash App. We gotta go over to Chime and look at what they have to offer. Chime has the ability to link multiple bank accounts to your Chime account. That means that you could link your Wells Fargo, your Chase, your Veraro, all kinds of bank accounts to your Chime account. That's a plus because if you wanna transfer money from one bank account to another, you don't have to keep switching out. With Cash App, you can only link one bank account at a time and one a debit card at a time. 
Now, if you do the math, you could link your bank account from somewhere else. And let's say Chase bank account and then link your Wells Fargo debit card. So technically you could say that that's linking two bank accounts if you want to get technical. But the fact that you can link more with Chime gives Chime an edge over Cash App. So right now in this category, we are tied. But Chime does have that overdraft ability if you wanted to turn it on. You can count that if you want. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and count that because it does give you more account control. This is the feature account controls. So this gives Chime two points. The third thing that Chime has to offer is, and this is a more recent addition, but you have the ability to pay anyone on Chime versus on Cash App, you only have the ability to pay someone or receive money from someone that has the Cash App. With Chime, you can now send money to anyone or receive money from anyone. The way it works is you just press the button in the bottom right hand corner that you see on the screen to uh, send money and then you send it to the number or email. They receive instructions on what to do and when they fill out those instructions, the money is sent to them, they can claim it or they can receive money from you. They don't have to have a Chime account though. They can have a Chase account, they can have a Wells Fargo account, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna have to give a point to Chime. So if you keep a score, that's one point for Cash App, three points for Chime. So Chime walks away with the overall point for account control. Next, we're gonna go to spending features. So when it comes to spending features, I would say the Cash App has an advantage. They have the ability to uh, use Cash App Borrow. Cash App Borrow is a program that you can use to borrow a set amount of money and pay a little interest back when you pay Cash App back. So it's basically a, a mini loan. So you have the ability to uh, use that versus a uh, Chime that doesn't really offer anything like that. Now, I always wanna say use that with responsibility, but the fact that Cash App offers it gives them a point in this area. Cash App also has the ability to spend money using their Cash App debit card and you'll receive cash back in the forms of boosts or you can receive some kind of discounts. Obviously there are a variety of boosts that have a variety of benefits so it's not just cash back but when we look on Chime's side they don't have any of this so we got to give the point to Cash App and finally Cash App has the ability to do roundups. So you can arrange so that when you spend money Cash App will automatically round the amount that you spent up and invest that money into Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency, or into a particular stock. That could be arranged. To give you a visual of what I mean, let's say you pay for something and it costs $11.30. Well, if you have roundups on and you set it up to, let's say round up to Bitcoin, Cash App is gonna take that additional 70 cents that would round up to $12 and invest it into Bitcoin. Obviously, this is a nice feature. They're ripping off of Acorns since they're the first ones to do it. But we're not comparing Cash App and Acorns. We're comparing Chime and Cash App. And Chime doesn't have this ability. So, obviously, this point goes to Cash App. If you keep a score, we're at three. So, Chime is getting destroyed in this category. Chime does have something of value to offer here, though. They offer a credit builder program that allows you to build credit just by using the card. The way that they have it set up is... You get this credit builder uh, card. Well, first you apply for the program. and I, I've never heard of them rejecting anyone. So you get the uh, debit card, then you just pay for something. Let's just say you buy a box of fruit or something, it costs $5. Chime then does some accounting on their behalf to uh, basically you put that in a separate account and then they pay it back for you. And then you start building credit history, which is pretty cool. That's something that Cash App doesn't have. So Chime gets one point. So Cash App has three, Chime has one. When it comes to spending features, Cash App comes on top. Next, let's go to restrictions. So both banks offer the ability to block your debit card, which is pretty key if uh, you wanna make sure that someone isn't using your debit card for malicious purposes, if they get the information online or whatever, you have the ability to block your card with both banks. So that's awesome. But Chime does offer a few more features. You can actually block different transactions on Chime. So you can block transactions inside the US, but you can also block transactions outside the US separately. So if you're not traveling internationally, who would turn the uh, transactions for international on? You just leave that off. So if someone in China happens to get your information for 
on the web somehow, they're not gonna be able to use it because all transactions are gonna be declined unless they're inside the US. That is a brilliant feature that I wish more banks implemented in general. So we're gonna have to give Chime the point here because they just have an extra feature on here that uh, Cash App does not have. Speaking of international travel, Cash App is limited in the places that you can use it in. As you can see on the screen, these are the only places that you can use Cash App in, period. Versus Chime, you can use it outside the US in uh, other locations. Now to be 100% honest, Chime's list of locations where you can't use your card is a lot more than your average bank. Chime just has so many, it's like, well shoot, where can I go to use this? But at the end of the day, they do have more places you can go and use it than Cash App, so we gotta give the point to Chime. Now keep in mind that just like any other bank, you do need to let Chime know that you will be leaving the country for a duration of time. This is called a, a travel notice. So just keep that in mind. So, so this is me after the video because I forgot to include something. So one thing about Cash App that's negative is the debit card is considered a prepaid card. So if you try and use it online on anything that doesn't take prepaid, the transaction will be declined. So if you want to, you could give another point to Chime because that's not the case. It doesn't impact the overall score for this section of restrictions, but I did want to mention it just so you know about it. Let's get back to the video. So in the spending restrictions category, Cash App has zero, Chime has two. So Chime wins in this category. So who's the overall winner? The moment of judgment has finally arrived. So. In the depositing, we have Chime that won the point. In account control, Chime won that point too. When it came to spending features, Cash App won, but when it comes to spending restrictions, Chime won once again. So we can definitively say that the better bank is Chime in this situation based on the categories that we brought up and compared. <laughs> Victory. However, if you love Cash App like I do, I mean, I completely understand that. I do believe that Chime is overall the better bank, so maybe Cash App can play catch up sometime in the near future. If you found value in this video, please let me know in the comment section because this is a new series and I'm thinking about starting where I'll compare banks like this. And if this is received very well, we might look at doing more comparisons at different banks. And if you have any questions about Cash App or Chime, I'm gonna link my playlist on both banks in the description and the pinned comment. Feel free to check those out so you can stay up to date on the features that come out on both of these banking apps. And if you haven't signed up for either of them and you have an interest in doing so, you can use the links in the description or pinned comment. Full disclosure, that is an affiliate link and it goes towards supporting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification if you wanna be notified when I drop another video. And if you found value in this one, give this a big fat thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. This is Elijah with Financial Anatomy. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.